My name is Rod Van Salkma, and we're here because we love Israel, and since it's at the end. That could be Mount Sinai. The first time I came in here, I fell through that hole. Yes, I did. Who's worthy to open the scroll? I mean, this is their Holy of Holies. So Goliath has a uniform. His number is 666. Bad guy. That is a great translation. Because you shut off the kingdom of heaven from men, for you do not enter in yourself, nor do you allow those who are following you. David, David, does your family practice your cult? Of course. What, do you got, what does that look like for you guys? We uh, eat in a shack for seven days. What do you call the shack? A sukkah. A you guys, they're still doing it. <laughs> Not for what? We are doing it! <laughs> Can we do it with you? <laughs>of the land of milk and honey. Okay? But I don't see any milk. And what's the land of honey? It's the land of the farmer. Bees. It's where we were yesterday. It's the vineyards, pomegranates, the fruit, the wheat, the grain, barley. Okay? That is the land of the farmer. Open your mind and heart to this because I it's going to be hard for you to believe. Um, this is the land of milk. Why milk? This is the land of the shepherd. This, especially going that way, this is too cliff-like too cliff right here, but just over that cliff, it turns into the land of the shepherd, and it's still desert. So, that's where we are right now, and... Um, this is the Judah Desert, but the reason I brought you right here right now is here's one of the trees that grow in the desert. Uh, this is called an Arar tree. Um, and imagine, yeah, get that in your heart, an Arar tree. Arar. A-R-A-R is how you spell it in English. Now, you guys haven't been spending that much time yet in the heat of this desert, but... <laughs> Imagine you've been in the desert for a long time, or imagine we've done a very, very long hike, okay? 110 degrees, sweating, thirsty, getting hungry, and all of a sudden you come to a tree like this, and you see fruit like this, dang. Uh, is there any more? Right now it's not the right time of the year. It's up on top There's of some little ones. Little oh. ones up here. Here's another one right here. See that one? Uh, there's one back here. And this isn't even a big arar tree. I see a bigger one down there. Um, but they produce this fruit. You're like, what's inside of this? Is this a grapefruit? Is it an orange? Oh my gosh. It's basically empty. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Here. Hollow. And basically, maybe what is in there might be even a little poisonous. Oh. So. Guess I'll be You know what they call it here? Yeah, I think I'll try that. It's called Sodom's apple. Oh. Why is it called Sodom's apple? Because Lot, when he looked at Sodom, oh, it looked so good to him. When you break it open, yeah. wow. empty, mm -hmm. poisonous. You guys, it's a profound picture that the prophet Jeremiah picks up in Jeremiah 17. Can someone find Jeremiah 17? Libby's turning to it right now.
like a bush in the desert. We will not see prosperity when it comes. We will live in stony waves in the wilderness, in a land of salt without inhabitants. Just hear all the language of this wilderness. Yeah. Okay, what was yeah. it? Jeremiah 17. Jeremiah 17. Let me read bush in the wasteland. The word there in the Hebrew is arar. Cursed is the man who trusts in mankind and makes flesh his strength, and his heart turns away from the Lord. He will be like an arar in the desert. He will not see prosperity when it comes. He will live in stony wastes in the wilderness and in salt without inhabitants. Ah. You guys, now we're right back to where we were yesterday. Yeah. Who do you trust? God. When we trust ourselves, our strength, our resources, what we bring to the table, our leverage, anything, God says, this is what you are. You look good. Oh, so good on the outside. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. From a distance. Oh. Yeah. You break it open. There's nothing there. Hello. Empty. I know people like that. <laughs> you know people like this? Let me tell you something. This is our culture today. Yes. Yes. This is what our culture has become. Yeah. Amen. Because it's all about you. It's all about me. It's all about trying to look like this. But at the end of the day, you break it open. One of the reasons we're in the desert, I wish it was a little hotter. <laughs> God led his people here for the simple reason to teach us that we are not this or to become this. We are desperate, desperate for God. That we need him. 24-7, 365. Any thoughts, questions, comments? Are you saying the shepherd with their sheep hung out in the desert? I, thank you! That's, I mean, thank you! Yes. It's not what we picture, is it? No. And I'm going to show it to you today because we are going to make our way into this desert, the Judah desert. But this is David's playground. Yes. This is where David is shepherding sheep. I know. I know, I know what you're wondering. What do they eat, rocks? These. Scrub. You're gonna see. Grass. Just enough. Just a little. Just this. Just, just enough. Just enough. <laughs> okay, Psalm 23 is gonna come alive today, just like yeah. Jeremiah 17 came alive. 14. Jeremiah, by the way, raised overlooking the Judah desert. Anatolis, looking over the desert. So he, this is his world, the images that he uses. Yeah. The Psalms, the Psalms and all the imagery are written out of this perspective right here. So, oh, cool. let's start with Shema. Okay. And then I'm gonna walk all of us a little further. I'm gonna introduce us to the desert, okay? <clears throat> Repeat after me, Shema Israel. Shema Israel. Adonai Eloheinu. Adonai Eloheinu. Adonai Echad. Adonai Echad. Hero Israel. Hero Israel. The Lord is our God. The Lord is our God. The Lord alone. Alone. Love the Lord your God. Love the Lord. With your heart. With all your soul. With all your might. And love your neighbor. And love your neighbor. As yourself. Soul is not your non-material self. It's your nefesh. It's your life. Your might is everything beyond that. It's your muchness, your wealth, your prosperity. Love them with your heart, your life, and all your muchness. Let's go.